Hello everybody, welcome back to some Pumpkin Jack. As you can see, I popped out to the main menu and bought the Buzzard outfit. Because the shop, it tends to be rather far into the level, so. Yeah, yeah, me. I know. Open my inventory to choose my weapon. Crash course in killing, eh? I mean, it seems to have a little bit of range to it as well, which is nice. Solid than I thought. Good Christ. Morgan, if I wanted to play the fucking game, I would have bought it a while ago. It goes on sale a lot. Well, this is a fine turn of events. Owls and swaps wow. don't mix. Neither do I. You have 10 seconds to explain why I'm, why I'm here. No faith in your trusty, reliable companion. Wow. Eight, seven, and six. You're superior and you will treat wow. me with respect. Four, three, two. All right, dear Lucifer, you're a rambunctious little twerp. Been following the magical energy from the por that portal the wizard cast. That magic led us on a trail straight to the swamp, and it ends here. Perhaps there's some clues in this destination further in. Is that so hard? All right. Again, just go around the. Well, I guess I really only went around one of them. I mean, it wasn't really that much of a aha moment, but you know. I like how I'm ready for a combat lesson and immediately just started to have to dodge traps. Alright. So he's in a swampy area. Yeah, you go kill that. So now the wizard has an amulet. I'm assuming since the, uh, like I said, the, uh, the tablet there talking about man's champion was, uh, the last line is unreadable. I'm assuming that's because we're going to be, end up being the champion. Uh, that's gotta be something down which way. I mean, this looks like the shorter route, so this is probably a skull maybe. No, there's enemies over there, so the other way must be the... I'm assuming a skull. Anyway, the gramophone is further in this level, apparently, because uh, it's after skull 14. So, I mean, there's that. Oh, this just... Le oh, well, he was right here. I could have fucking just waited and bought it here. Anyway... I also got the achievement for obviously buying an outfit, so you technically missed that even though you didn't have to. What a long fucking path just to get to that guy, like, weird. Come on, yes. Wasn't sure if I would have had the distance for that. Now, I wonder if my skin is going to... Uh, carry over to cutscenes. Not that there's like a huge amount of them, but you know. <laughs> Stop fucking firing mortars. Yeah, the sword definitely does more damage. Yeah, I know. I need to get better at dodging. I also need to get Better at hitting left bumper during combat so that the bird helps out more, but... Alright, well, I mean, we have a wagon here that's lit up, which should theoretically mean that somebody's inside of it. And I can understand them not wanting to come out, but, I mean... I think I might pop in to see who's there. New checkpoint. Back to full health. Um, 
I really hope this game carries over and we don't have like a sinking city deal where you get new outfits but in every single cutscene you're still wearing the same shitty one that you start the game with. Probably the worst part about that in Sinking City was the fact that he had that massive fucking backpack in every cutscene and it's like why are you carrying that much stuff with you? Like I understand maybe it was supposed to be like oh because that's where he keeps all of his guns and his traps and his crafting materials but no don't no just don't. Nobody fucking cares where the character keeps them. I mean... Carrying way more stuff than is possible has been a thing since Doom. Like... With his, like, fucking 500... With, like, his, what, six weapons. He's got, like, the BFG, the minigun, the rocket launcher. And he just carries it all on his person. Like, clearly nobody cares... Where the characters keep their shit. Not if you're going to give them a huge amount of stuff, anyway. I mean, is it nice when you can see the stuff on your character? Eh, depends on... Good lord. Stop. Oh, I see. There's... A for effort, but your form is atrocious. Yeah, that's not a surprise. But hey, got another skull. Kind of wish that the skulls, like, increased your damage or something, and then... Oh, also, I forgot to check what the achievements for this level were. Ride a ghost horse all the way to the end. Make some magic mushroom music. I Maybe that might just be finding the gramophone in this place. Ruin the Witch and Merchant's cruelty-free dinner. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. So far, besides the collectibles, everything seems to be fairly story-based, though, so... I doubt that I have much to worry about when it comes to... those achievements. Wow, been a while, I feel, since... I used the crow to do something like that, you know, outside of the minecart sections. For skeletons of ghosts, and now wood has ghosts. Yeah, I mean... Um, hello? Have we met? Well, 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 a new face. So, always a pleasant surprise to meet some new friends around here. Who are you supposed to be? I am a local merchant. My name is... I haven't asked for your name and I don't plan on caring. Alright, well then, who are you? My name is Jack. I'm tracking a loathsome little wizard into this swamp. Did you say Jack? As in THE Jack? Yeah, because there's only one Jack. That depends which Jack you mean. The Jack who tricked the devil himself not once, not twice, but three times. Huh, most people leave out the third time. Yes, old timer, I am THE Jack. A joyous day, hooray. She'll be so happy. Talking about you, cute. Nothing really, I just have something to attend to around here. Please find me again along the way. I believe I can help you. Very well, anything for a fan. Alright. Oh, what's that? Aha! I see you up there. I mean, I really don't, but apparently the bird does. What was the achievement? Who's cruelty-free dinner? Yeah, so the witch and merchant. So I'm assuming he's the merchant. Looks more like a gravekeeper, but you know what, what he can do. Don't get that easily enough. Man, I'm liking this sword. If we get a new weapon at the end of every level, it's going to be awfully hard to beat this one. Pretty good so far. He doesn't trust that guy? No, no. I mean... Don't trust him either, but, you know. Good lord. Enough. Good 
Christ, enough with the fucking mortar shots here. Like, that's pretty much the only time these guys fucking damage me is when they first spawn in, because then they just immediately fire that. Fall piece is easy, but there's so many of them. Yeah, it's very weird that those two got cut off. It's also very weird that we have this little path leading there and nothing to to do at the end of it. <sighs> so even ghosts have ghosts. Why do you think ghosts have ghosts? I mean, if I go up there, it's just going to mortar me and maybe basically get a free hit in. Considering that if I try and dodge it, odds are I'll fucking fall off. I don't know why he thinks ghosts have ghosts, because I mean... Oh, there's a skull down. How the hell did I miss that? It's right in the middle of the fucking path. Like, where was that? I mean, I know I walked through there, so... I mean, I may not have walked like that exact spot, but I know damn well that I walked close enough that I would have fucking seen it. Oh, apparently the, uh... I don't know, I was gonna say the skulls are getting a little trickier, but I mean, that one wasn't really tricky besides the fact that it just didn't show it to me. I still don't quite understand why the, uh... Well, I don't understand why he slid off of it like that for no fucking reason. I mean, what the fuck? And now I'm back here. This fucking nonsense. Oh, hello. That seems pretty good. Now, Jack, don't fucking randomly slide off the boat this time. And of course I did it, like, you know, half an inch away from the fucking checkpoint, but whatever. All right. I mean, yeah, I was going to say there's got to be a fucking thing up there, but how do I do that? I want to just jump at it, but I mean, okay, I can guarantee you that, oh, no, you're just supposed to jump up there. I was going to say, I can guarantee you, you're not supposed to stand on that tree because that tree, I'm pretty sure, it, you know, but still, whatever works, I guess. Alright, come on, careful. Oh. There we go. I mean, really, what am I supposed to do with this? Like, they're fucking mortar homing shots. Every time one spawns, they fire one. So there's, like, no fucking point in fighting all of these assholes until they've all spawned. Like, because if I stop to attack them, I just get hit with the, one of the other 12 mortars from the guys that just spawned in. Like, yeah, that... 
Considering it's like a base enemy, that seems like... Okay, do you want to fucking attack the one that's right there? The only one that I actually fucking care about? I'm gonna break that already. Thank you. But yeah, like the fact that they're homing shots. They get fired immediately upon them spawning. It's a bit much. Especially if you're going to swarm somebody like that, like... I don't mind the swarm, but the fact that you just basically have to wait until the swarm is completely filled, like, is completely spawned before you can effectively fight them is kind of shit. Ah, uh, Jack, there you are. I'm so glad we met again. I want to tell you about my wife. I don't care much about you. Why would I care about your wife? She's idolized you for centuries. She's your biggest fan. Do you go on? We've been married for 343 years, but she's always adored your tales. We spent many nights discussing your feats of malice and trickery. She's a powerful witch, and I'm out here collecting ingredients for her greatest concoction. A witch, hmm? I could use her. This wizard is powerful and smart. I need her information. I'm sure she'd love to help, but I need to get her ingredients first. If you can help me find the mushroom she needs, I'll take you to her. Must I pick up your errands? Why can't you just tell me where she is? Only my horse can take you to her. Find the mushrooms and you can ride them. Stupid plot contrivances. Fine, I'll fetch the stupid mushrooms. Much obliged. I'll stay right here and wait for your return. Alright, so I can't get on the horse then. Until I go and get the mushrooms from this direction. Alright. I mean, there's one right there. And one right there. And I'm supposed to come... Oh, I saw a skull down there, too. I mean, there's even checkpoints along the way. Oh, there's the mushroom I need, I'm guessing. <sighs> Got into them as a chicken, never gave them up. Alright. And what are the mushrooms? Okay. Oh, good lord. Oh, and they disappear. Alright, well, that's... It's a good thing that they disappeared then and not earlier. That could have been very bad. Uh, not seeing anything. Oh, wait. Is that a glow I spot? It is, but not one I care about. There's a dude over there, but I don't think I can get there from here. Probably gotta go up. Really? Is yeehaw appropriate when you're bouncing off mushrooms? That doesn't really feel like much of a yeehaw moment. I know I saw skulls along the way, like that one there, but... <laughs> Yippee-ki-yay, really? That's not much better than Yeehaw. I mean, I gotta go down there and see, right? I mean, there's gotta be a skull or something. I mean, if there's an enemy, I should check it out. Yeah, there is. Oh, numero nine. Uh, not entirely sure how to get back up, though. Doesn't seem to be any, uh... Oh, bouncy Mushroom Checkpoint, which is weird. Considering that they put a collectible down here, which means they expect you to come down here, which should mean that you have a way to go back up. But, like, unless... 
It's a very not great sound when you bounce off of them too. Like it's a very smush sound. Dude, why are you saying stuff that you should be saying theoretically while we're riding the horse? Like while we're bouncing on mushrooms. Like why? Like it seems like the dial like the lines are put into the wrong spot. I don't have to come back this way not like something will like take me back to the merchant where his horse is all right and now we have to get rid of our head again for some reason well whatever let's see what we're doing here I wonder if this will be the dance party thing Yep, there's the achievement. The decomposer. Just perfect. Jack, bring it to me now. Oh, good. Nice of him to create a portal for me. Ah, superb. I haven't seen a mushroom this well grown in decades. Thank you, Jack. Truly, your legend doesn't live up to your glory. Yes, yes, I know I'm amazing. Now make with the horse. Certainly, he knows the way. Well, just hop on and ride away. All right. Well, this will be the other achievement for this. Now, the question is... Okay, I do have steering and... Oh, my. I have a rather large jump. Although he seems to slow down an awful lot in the air. But I'm not entirely sure what just happened with the, uh, when I theoretically took damage. I mean, it definitely made it sound like I took damage, but... Okay. We're not even on the ground anymore. So why do I have to jump at all? If the horse can just, you know run on the air. Now I don't know when to jump because it's like I should theoretically never have to jump because he can just, you know, fly apparently. Oh look, uh, finish line. See now, yeehaw, it makes sense for that. I mean, I guess it is Ghost Rider. I was going to say I'm not really on fire, but uh, and I was going to say, you know, Headless Horseman might make more sense, but uh, I guess I was riding a ghost. If anything, it's more accurate than Ghost Rider. Prime, yeah, I don't care about Prime Video Link, so. 
Alright. Witch looking is a lot difficult. Yeah, I mean, it really is. I mean, I'd be more worried if I were you. I mean, generally, crows end up, like, you know, being controlled by witches or, you know, taken apart and with their like beaks and shit used for witch used uh by witches so <laughs> This is it, not a very big horde this time. It's all in the wrist. Except I'm not even holding you, so. I don't know how much in the wrist could be in using a sword like this. Still not riding a horse, dude. Oh, you know what, there's probably a a different path they could have taken to get here. Oh well, whatever. Which one was that, by the way? 11. <laughs> Alright. I've been playing Mass Effect, like the original Mass Effect. Well, I mean, remastered. Let's very vision, but whatever. Uh... Again, um, you know what? Just, I still prefer Andromeda. It's good, don't get me wrong. I like it, but, you know, I feel like Andromeda improved so much about it. Yeah, I feel like Andromeda definitely had, like, the right amount of RPG elements in it. Whereas with, like, Mass Effect, you know... Like, you lose access to a huge amount of stuff if you don't have somebody with electronics and hacking, right? Whereas with Andromeda, that's just a thing you have. And I'm pretty sure in Mass Effect 2 and 3, they either just don't have anything that, uh, that you need to hack, or it's just a thing you can do, like in... Jack, there you are, my friend. Take it easy, fanboy. What do you... What now? Well, here we that mushroom you found for me. It's perfect, don't get me wrong, it's just not enough. Ten, nine, eight. Now wait a second, oh great Jack. I just need one more mushroom, then I'll show you straight to my wife. Can you even use my horse again? What do you say? Can you help out a fool who's just trying to be the husband the love of his life deserves? I'm getting hungry. Fine, but this is the last one. Don't think I won't cut you apart. How long have we been going? Half an hour almost. I uh, did not check the time before I started recording this one. Did not realize it, it is uh, lunchtime. And I could go for some lunch right now. Alright, well, I mean... Oh, this actually put them all the way over there. Odds are it's not going to give me enough time to get there and go up. Because I kind of paused there for quite a while, but... And then this sends me... Okay. That's weird, but whatever. Uh, I mean, this lasts quite a while, though. So, I mean, I do that, right? Hop across, do that, and then hop back. Haha! -ha. Yeah, Crow, you really have to shut the fuck up. I mean, you're popping up way too often, and what you're saying does not match what we're doing. So you really just need to stop. Assuming this leads me back. Oh. Oh. Nope, that's definitely a... Uh... Let's go further. This should be fine. Oh, there's the gramophone. Uh, we must have missed some spells then. Because I don't think we've got 14.
I guess there isn't really cutscenes in this game, though, is there? It's all, like, in-game stuff, so, I mean... I guess it would be really weird for them to take away the co- or to, like, have it set so that the costume is, uh... See, now, to the top! Yeehaw still doesn't make sense, but to the top does. Where can I see? We see we only have 12 of the 14 skulls, which does slightly worry me. Because, like I said, on here it's an A for effort, but your form is atrocious. Yeah, whatever. But I don't know, like, which one I would have missed. I'm not going to go back and get them. I mean, this isn't a collectibles guide. Um, and I'm not going to make you watch me run around looking for them. I mean, I do have a guide up that could tell me where they are. But unless I see one, and it's like, yeah, that's definitely the one I missed. Disappearing, but that's fine. I made it. Fine. Okay. Oh. Oh. Wow, I uh, I put no timing into that though, and it just happened to work out for me, which is nice. I haven't got hit by one of those yet, so I'm not entirely sure whether it would like push me off or just do a little bit of damage or well I imagine it would do quite a bit of damage but like I don't know if it would actually like push me anywhere because if it just did damage I'd be fine if it pushed me somewhere though could be pretty fucked all right let's see what this I'm assuming it's going to be the same thing Red, green, red, green, red, blue, white, pink. Alright. See, I can do stuff like that. That's memorization better. made some tea before I started recording the last part and I put it in my uh, cup that I normally take it to work in still too hot to drink <laughs> like absolutely ridiculous I mean we got 15 now or 14 now yeah I definitely missed some because uh, skull 15 on this guide is the one where the rats were <laughs> Alright, are we done with your little shopping list now? Yes, certainly. The horse is yours. Take him as far as he'll go and keep going after. Guess you don't get a lot of company over if that's how you give people directions. Well, I mean, get on the horse and then go forward is honestly probably decent direction. Because, I mean, the horse knows where he needs to go. And, uh, I'm assuming wherever he drops you off is, uh... It's a straight path. I mean, that's fine for directions. I really don't know what I should be jumping over. Around there. See, like that right there, I don't think I needed to jump there, but... I mean, this is basically, I, I guess it would be one step up in difficulty from the mine card, just because we have left and right movement, but I mean, I feel like even saying it's a difficulty would be 
giving it way too much credit. Oh, well, let's park on this side this time. And we made it to the end once more. Oh, that one's like glowy red. Yeah, I really don't know where we could have missed. Like, what were we at? We got for so we were missing like I think two skulls then. And I really don't know where we could have missed them. I mean, there was that one that just didn't spawn in when it should have and I had to go back for her. so I mean there but I find it hard to believe that I would have ended up with two like that like oh, get rid of you no too far away I still got hit up in the air like that. Alright. Let's so just do the loot. Until everyone has spawned. Because, you know, this is how you make interesting fights. Just make it impossible to attack at the beginning of them, basically. To be fair, it makes for a very satisfying ending to the fight, though. How do I have much to learn? I just killed like 12 people all at once. Okay, so yeah, 16 out of 20. So theoretically then there's only two left because we missed. Assuming, no, it had to have only been two that we missed. But yeah, I don't know where they could be. Thankfully, odds are if I uh, come back into the level after, if I find the two of them, I should be able to just like exit the level then and not have to re or not have to like finish it. I hope. Okay, and how the hell do I get? I see. I just need to. Oh, I'm glad you decided to climb up on that. Alright, well, one more skull then. I've been, uh, playing more Mario vs. Donkey Kong, uh, Kong. I'm technically on the last world, but uh, apparently after you beat the game once, which isn't very hard, you unlock a hard mode. Uh, which is, I don't, I, it, the way that, the thing that I read, because I didn't look into it too much, I just looked into how many worlds there were. Um, it seems like there's the regular, then the hard, and then a time trial mode, which I'm going to ignore, because I don't care about time trials. So I will ignore it if I can. I might see how hard it is, but are you the witch? Ah, you must be Jack. How do you know my name, the overrated gondolier? Word travels fast around here. I've been paid in advance to take you to the witch, but I still accept tips. First flying horses and now penny grubbing ferrymen. What's next? Complain all you want, but I'm your only way to where you're headed. Alright, fine, I could use the rest. A nice calm boat ride sounds pretty good to me. You said anything about calm. I mean, just... Alright, come on, let's go. Just don't put those fucking skeletons on here that are gonna mortar the fuck out of me. Join the ride, good, because here comes the fun part. Combat. Oh, I see. Okay, well, I mean, if... I mean, this is fine. These guys. 
I, I almost actually forgot all about these guys. Hold on to your hat. Oh. That almost got me. Why are you being a dick about it? Now, I'm curious though, no, okay, I was going to say, uh, like, like, how far do I have to go and how much time there is? Prick. Oh, right. But, um, yeah, Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the hard mode is going to be like i don't know if it's going to be like the same level like i don't know if it's going to be like eight different worlds or like the same eight worlds but like with more hazards in it i would say more enemies in it but i mean there isn't really a lot for enemies you know like there's enemies obviously but the the challenge of the game is getting like just through the area well i guess the challenge of the game is collecting the three presents and then making it to the end if you're just making it to the end it wouldn't be that hard but i'm just curious how they're going to make it harder because i really hope that like the hard mode isn't just oh you have less time because every level is timed as it is uh, so i mean i would like it to be more than just you have less time to do the same levels, but don't think I didn't notice you skipped the tip, but you were evil, not a jerk. I mean, here's the thing. You get tips based on quality of service. You flipped the boat upside down, made me jump between different ships, steered your boat through solid objects that I couldn't pass through, causing me to have to then do platforming around it. So you got exactly as much tip as the quality of your service. Uh, okay. Seven times that Jack has had his butt kicked. I didn't get my butt kicked there. I was frozen. In pl I couldn't move during that. Apparently you're just not allowed to go that way. Her information better be worth all the fuss. I mean, we don't even know that she has information. Uh. What is it now, bird? It's the forest. I can't describe it, but it's strange. I can sense a witch's magic. She's not too far from here. But watch your step, Jack. Something tells me this forest is dangerous if you don't know the way. If you're not careful, one wrong step could be the end of you. So you can tell all that, but you can't tell me how to get through safety safely. It's called a plot contrivance. Don't dwell on it. Just get going. I wish I could help you, but this time you're on your own. I mean, yeah. Is it really a plot contrivance, though? I feel like when you trail breadcrumbs, the crows become the bread. Okay, so that's just follow the crows then. Nope. All right. Well, I feel like that was supposed to happen just because, like, you know, the game is like, hey, follow the crows, and then you just immediately die. So there's crows that way, and there's crows that way, which means we'll go this way. There's a crows that path, crows that path, and a trap this path, but no crows. So let's do it this way. Crows that way. I mean, there are crows that way, but... Yeah, I was going to say, but I think I see another path before them. I mean, my only worry here is that there's going to be a skull in here somewhere. I don't much care for the way it, uh... It did this, if I'm being honest. Like, if you take the wrong path, it just freezes you in place and then kills you. Like, it's kind of a shitty way to do it, if I'm being honest. Uh... 
Um, okay, so there's growth that way, but not this way. It's harder than I thought. Is it, though? I mean, it's just avoid the crows, which isn't really all that hard at all. I mean, oh, dude. Uh, fucking Paper Mario Thousand Year Door remake about to drop this sometime this month. I don't remember <laughs> when. I, uh, still have to finish Mario vs. Donkey Kong, and I have Princess Peach Showtime to play, but I don't know. It's very tempting. Not much further, Jack. She can hardly wait to meet you. Yeah, I mean, if she can hardly wait to meet me, you'd think that she would do something to uh, make it easier for me to get there. That's going to be all of them that we get, because, like I said, unfortunately, we did miss the two. But what can you do, right? Sometimes you miss shit, and there was a lot of going, like, up and around with, like, ground underneath us and whatnot. So, I mean... And it was bound to happen that I would miss some at some point. I mean, that's got to be the way it's over there, right? <laughs> Jack, Jack, the great Jack's back. Such a big fan. Ooh, look at me, I'm starstruck. Finally, someone who appreciates my hard-forged legacy. Been told you might have some information about someone I need to find. I mean, the wizard, the human's champion, of course. Word travels fast, you know. So I've been told, so what can you tell me? Well, if you'd like to know his name. His name? Yes, tell me. Oh yes, Jack, anything for a legend like you. Now listen closely, the wizard's name is Yoink. Yoink? What kind of name is Yoink? No, no, you're not saying it right, it's more like Yoink. So she's about to steal something from me. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? So sorry to trick you, Jack, but after all, it is one of yours. My own ploys use against me. Well played, you harpy. Don't forget my part in all this, Jack. Shush, hon. You're sounding really desperate. Put me back right now. I'm afraid I can't do that. Jack, I'm cooking up something magical, and you're just what I need to put it all together. We should go, dear, before we miss our time. Right away, away. Horrible. What the heck are we going to do now? Going to get Jack back before they hollow out his noggin. Even more. But how? You know how Jack can hop in and out of his body? Yes. Well, hop in. I think I need to throw up first. Better head off now. Yeah, but Jack can also move with just his head, so like... Why doesn't he just pull out his little tendrils and, uh... Fucking ditch them. Like... Okay, you may be on your way, but isn't this the, uh... Oh god, really? <laughs> fucking, it's like we're fucking doing Bugs Bunny here. I don't know what I'm really dodging with these things. I mean, because everything's turning. Like, we're not moving in a straight line, so, like, the camera turns, and then... Like, I go to dodge a thing, the camera turns, and then where I was, wouldn't gonna, it wasn't gonna hit me anyway, so... Come here, you witchy bitch. Oh, get around there. Get around there. And I mean, I since I can't control the height of the horse either, I mean, sometimes they're like, aha, I'll get you, and then the horse just, like, isn't even at the right height to get hit. Like, I don't know if it's just to make it easy so that you don't need to, like, re do this section a lot or something, but I'm really hoping for checkpoints during these sections, if I'm being honest, but it 
doesn't really look like it. Because, I mean, I do obviously have left and right control, but, I mean, as you can tell, it's not like it's a sharp turn by any means. And she does just seem to be aiming uh, in predetermined spots and not, uh, fuck me. And not in, like, like, at me, you know? I'm not quite, like, I feel like I hadn't taken that much damage at that point, and yet, that fucking hitting that wall killed me, but I mean, I've hit that tree at the beginning both times now, and it barely did any damage, really. So I'm not quite sure why that wall is, like, the death wall. Okay, it was, like, right up here, right, that I somehow, or that I hit something. right there? I don't know. It must have been. I'm pretty sure it was in there somewhere. <laughs> Finally, we have some guests come to visit. All it took was a small act of kidnapping. Get back that pumpkin now. Whatever wicked spell you're working on, we'll stop it. A spell? What spell? Well, a spell, you know, the mushrooms, the cauldron, the possessed pumpkin. This isn't a spell, it's our dinner! Of course, we're vegans. This is a magic mushroom stew. But why eat me? This is hardly cruelty-free. Well, no, but pumpkins are a real superfood, especially possessed ones. You know how hard it is to get souls in a vegan diet. You don't count. It's both insane. I may be a coward, but I'm taking Jack back. You don't want to stay for dinner? Well, then you'll make a fine centerpiece for our spread. Don't scuff up my body, bird. I just got that thing. Oh, my. <laughs> make like shampoo and go for the eyes yeah I mean I tried it doesn't seem to do anything though unless like what I don't I'm what am I doing here I mean they're just throwing potions down oh I see I got it now. No, I need to get closer, I think. No, throw it over here, you witch. There we go. Should have known better than to... Uh for it just to be an attack. Although these things don't seem like, I'm pretty sure that one hit me and it didn't do anything. I mean, they are kind of coming out of nowhere. So it would be rather hard to, oh, hello. Oh, hello, even more. I like how the bird is controlling the body, but I can still send the bird out to attack. Oh, now it got it. Okay. Well, I mean, that's fine. Can you throw some potions maybe, like, a little bit closer to the tree so I don't have to go out quite as far? I mean... Oh, there's red ones. I'm assuming I don't want to hit those. Come on. Down here. Ow, fucker. I didn't see the, uh... I didn't see it appear on the ground. Yeah, I'm not comfortable hitting the red ones. Also, I am getting my ass beat hard here. Okay, break the boxes for some health. Get some more health. You know what? Jackass with the whip isn't here right now, so let's worry more about our health than actually accomplishing the fight. Wow. 
around it. So no. I mean, there's a little bit more here, but... Fuck, things aren't... God damn it! Fucking hell, so much shit happening! And I mean, the camera angle is really fucking me here, because like that fucker with the... Oh my god, of course the fight just restarts from scratch. Because I mean, that fucker with the whip just like fucking shows up. And, uh, I can't, and, like, he's fucking off camera, so I can't even fucking see him. Which is fucking bullshit, you know? I mean, come on. No. Now, granted, this time I shouldn't get my ass beat nearly as much during this part. Since now I know what the fuck's happening. Alright, come on. Oh, fuck off. It does have the same problem as before, though, where, like... When I do an attack, I do get, like, a little bit locked into the animation. So then I fucking get hit. Come on, here we go. Drop some over here. Thank you. That should be that. Should get rid of him. Why were- why did those other two disappear after one attack? Get over it. Okay, there we go. Full health. I don't know why they call this guy the merchant, though. I mean, he doesn't- he hasn't really done anything real merchant-y, you know? I mean, if anything, he's like he looks more like a gravekeeper than a merchant. So I mean, probably the worst part about the that dickhead with the whip isn't even like when he does it during an attack. It's when he shows up and I'm midair because then I can't like that right there. What was I supposed like? That, again, right there. I can't fucking see him. He's not on the screen for me to know that he's even coming to attack me. Now, oh, fuck you. I'm killing your ass. Where are you, you little bitch? Come here. Alright. Oh my god, is it giving me a fucking gun? Oh, good lord. What a misstep. In their hubris to hunt down the wizard, Jack and his avian accomplices followed the only trail available that they could find in the woods. At the behest of a fawning merchant, Jack was sent on a wild goose chase in the hopes of meeting Excuse a powerful me, there is a message. Traversing the merciless landscape on horseback, and with the help of an ignoble ferryman, Jack's efforts soon paid off, and he met with the witch, only to have his own head stolen for their supper. With the assistance of the cowardly crow, Jack was reunited with his body. And now, with the wizard's trail run cold, Jack and his companions have only instinct and gumption to guide them. They hurry to follow the sounds of cannons and gunfire to find a city at war. So we're going to have actual people now. 
All right, well, that'll be it for this part. Uh, let's head back to the main menu. Let's see how long we've been going for. An hour, so yeah, that'll be it for this part then. Although, let's see, what other skins can we get? We got 18, so 30 is the skeleton. So let's wait until we can, so we'll maybe we'll check that one out after. All right, so the curse swamp. All right, so yeah, I'll run in and grab the last two skulls uh, in between parts just so that I have them. But I honestly have no idea where I could have, which, like, where I could have missed them. I mean, like I said, there was a lot of up and down and, like, going, you know, with stuff underneath us and whatnot. So, and, you know, the red glow does help but there's also a lot of enemies with red glows we had the one that just didn't show up right away for some reason so i mean who knows what happened but thanks everybody for watching and i will see you next week for more